What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Lino the Lion bringing you a tutorial on Minecraft 1.6.4. Today's tutorial is going to be about uh, Traincraft 4.2 I believe. And um, I'm going to be showing you in depth how to signal with the 4.2 rails. The last video I uploaded on this uh, got around 300 hits and it, was, it got pretty popular I guess. So I want to show you guys in depth how you can do this so that you can use use it completely like use it to your advantage here we're gonna be covering curves we're gonna be covering um, intersect intersection rails I think that's what it's called well switch rails and then I'm going to be covering the parallel switch as well okay so first things first I wanna show you this uh, that I have over here this is set up for every single signal so this signal which is uh, number zero covers this one right here okay and then from there it goes to this curve then that curve then yeah so on and so forth so uh, one mistake that I did catch right now is I forgot to put a signal right here but pretty much uh, to fix that I would just add another one of uh, these right here and then just move that one over here and voila we would have a three-way rail where you, every time you went over this one it would turn both of them red or if you went over this one it would turn both um, all three of them red so yeah let's let's get into this okay so um, another thing all these are player detectors and then I'm using wireless redstone okay so sorry about that um, I probably should have left this run, uh, running so that way I could have just uh, gotten in and continued. But I didn't think of it, so. <laughs> okay. Um, if, it, uh, if it shows it before I go over there, um, as soon as I go over the player detector while I'm in the train, it's going to switch the uh, both signals red. Should be doing it right about now. See? And then. It, it if I can get over here, yeah. See how that one's red as well. That's pretty much just a regular curve one. Seeing it has, as how I didn't have the um, damn it, as I didn't have the third signal. But pretty much this is how it works. Like as it as you guys saw, it, it turned the signal red, and then as I leave it, it's gonna turn it back to green. Let's see, so if I if I go a little faster. Um, I'll raise it to 20. It, it changes it red and then it changes it green. See? And um, there is a couple flaws to this um, uh, schematic, I guess you could say. And that is if I was to go into the block and jump out, jump out, <laughs> it, it would leave it red. And everyone else would stay there waiting and waiting and waiting until it changed back to green. And Either that or people would just go and then every every time they were in the block it would be um, green and then when they weren't in the block that would be it would be red and that would cause a lot of collisions between the players. So um, see you can fix it by getting into the train and going through it or uh, you can fix it by this little setup I have here which is um, putting a switch onto the another transmitter that's the same and it'll change it to uh, it'll change the colors okay so pretty much how this works first I'm gonna show you how the signaling works okay okay so when it goes over the player detector it'll emit a redstone signal and then it'll go to the redstone receiver right here which then emits a red notes redstone signal to the sequencer changing the output from uh, the controller here to this redstone therefore turning uh, this receiver red and that receiver red turning the controllers red which turns the signals red and then um, when you go over it again like exiting the block it'll turn the sequencer back to this controller and turn it back to green so let I'm just gonna show you how you can do this on uh, curves parallel switches and switches of all type so pretty much all you gotta do is you just put it before the curve or before the switch so that way, whenever they go onto one of the switches, it turns it, um, you know, it changes the color. 
So for example, on the curve, I have it before the curve and then right after the curve. So that way when they're in the curve, it, it'll alert them that there's someone there since they can't really see. I mean, if you're going to have a curve like this that you know you can see perfectly fine, then I mean, you don't have to put a signal, but you can if you want to. Okay, so here, the way this one works, it, every time someone's in that block, it is going to turn the top one red. So when the top one's red, someone's on the uh, siding. And then whenever the bottom's uh, red, that means someone's on the main line. See, so um, I'm just going to use uh, another... Wait, come back here, train. I need to... Nope. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I'll just place it over here. Okay. Sorry about this. Um, I I didn't remember about that. I'm I'm just forgetting everything, aren't I? Such a, a bad uh host. Okay. So we'll put that in there and just let that warm up. And have the brakes on for now. Okay. So while it does that, we are going to. Um, I totally forgot which one this is. I know for a fact it's. Oh, it's the these last four. Okay, so nine and ten are these. Okay. Um, I believe this one is nine. Yeah, this one's nine right here. And then ten is gonna be right here. What's let me okay. Whoa. Um sorry about this. But at least you guys see um exactly how it is. Okay there. So now for the for these two, uh, for the signal over here to get it, it has to be both. Which that might be kind of confusing, so I'm going to show you right now. We'll put nope. 9 right here and 10 right here or there and then we don't need this one okay so um, what did I do with that medium piece Okay, there. So now that we've finished that, whenever, um, wait, oh, and I need to, okay, yeah, sorry, I got confused a, uh, a little bit, and then let's just repeat the process right here. Um, okay, sorry about that, I got, I got, uh, I dropped some frame rates for a second. Transmitter, transmitter, I believe this one is 11, and this one is 12. Okay. Since I, I'm too lazy to get the uh, large rail, I'm just going to use two medium rails. Okay. Right here, right here, and then, oh no, not right there. I'll put... 11 and 12. There we go. And I did not get a parallel. Crap. <laughs> um, I know one of these has to give it to me. Nope. Okay. Please excuse me. I'm going, I need to get the parallel. Here we go. Okay. There we go. And one last thing. Oh, 
There we go. And right there. Okay. Now I am going to show you going into the siding, and then uh, I'm going to show you going through the main line. Which also, uh, a quick tip, if you guys didn't know, uh, pushing space when you're driving in one of the, well, while you're conducting in one of these trains, uh, turns on the emergency brake. But you have to be going under 10 miles an hour, or kilometers. Okay, so when we pass, it, it'll turn both of them red. And then... Wait a second, and then, oh, okay then. Um, little problem here. Pretty much just, pretty much uh, how we can fix this is remove these two. Wait, let me go to first person. Okay, we'll remove the two signals here, and then we can just leave these ones. So that way when it goes into this block, It'll keep that one red and leave this one green, and then whenever you exit, it'll turn it back to green. I'll, I'll have to do another video on this because that one's a little bit more complex than the others. So, pretty much, it's just the same for the curves and the switches. You just on the switch, you have to have the the double distant uh, double distance signal, which is this one right here, and. Um, you pretty much do the exact same thing as the parallel. You just put one signal leading from here and then one signal leading from there. Oh, and all, uh, another thing that I didn't say, all of these signals that I'm using are distant. Uh, the, the regular block signals won't work. And in order to, uh, like, con uh, I can't speak, in order to connect this to the controllers, you have to have a signal tuner, not a signal surveyor. See, so I'll show you the difference. This is a signal surveyor, which is what you use for the blocks, and then for the, uh, um, damn it, for the distance. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. All right, well, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Um, I should be uploading a parallel and a, a, an intersection rail, like the four Damn it, I can't speak. <laughs> it's frustrating me. But I'll be showing you guys how to signal on the parallel switch and on the two-way crossing switch. And then I'll show you how to do the a four-way crossing. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, all, all support is appreciated. And so, yeah. Peace, guys. See you on the next video.